Morning, y'all. This is Dirt Track Boys coming at you about some NASCAR stuff this morning. Um, how many of y'all are excited about the uh, 2024 NASCAR Cup Series schedule? Get to race in Iowa for the first time since... Um, early 2000s with the Bush series and going back to um, the Bristol Speedway in uh, in the fall or in the spring so no more dirt on Bristol for for this year um, and there's only 69 days or 68 days until the Daytona 500. I know the season just ended, but my goodness, time flies. <clears throat> and another thing about Daytona, it is the world center of racing. See, a lot of sports do their... Um, Super Bowl, you know, late, like a lot of sports do their big thing at the end of the year, but NASCAR does it at the beginning of the year and has for some time. But here in Daytona, at Daytona Beach, it's been a tradition for last 70 years that NASCAR does it at the beginning of the season. LA Coliseum comes back. Um, the LA Coliseum is back for, uh, I believe it's the second straight year. And I could buy, I think it's the third straight year. No, it's the third straight year that the LA Coliseum is back. Um, so you think Hendrick can keep the dominance up? I think they can. I think, um, I think Rick Hendrick and his team can definitely keep the dominance. I mean, 2024. You know, looks to be a pretty good year, I hope, for uh, a bunch of guys. Uh, and who knows? I mean, I think Tennessee can, uh, I think uh, Tennessee. And who knows? I think, um, I think this year will be good for them. For Hendrick. I'm not saying that, you know, I'm either or, but, oh, and this year, and this coming up here will be a, a very cool trip for me. I'll be going to uh, Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> so if you guys have ever been to Phoenix, let me know in the comments. Um, you know, uh, here at Dirt Track, at Dirt Tra on, on, on this channel of Dirt Track Boys, we try to um, talk about NASCAR. We try to, you know, give it up a little bit. And uh, I just want you guys to uh, like and subscribe to this because I know there's a lot of people that like racing. And it ain't just about NASCAR. I mean, we'll talk about, you know, late model and, and anything that has to do with racing. I mean, I even grew up liking dirt racing. I love dirt tracks. And, um, you know, that may be coming up. You never know. And, um, 
I'll, I'll try to do 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 a dirt video, you know, do a dirt track. I have it. I know I've said that, and I keep posting these videos. I'm gonna start doing a lot more of them next year. I I for sure am, but I just want you guys to like the content that we do on this channel. You know, um, you know. So it help support the channel, subscribe to it, like it. Um, you know, just like the stuff that we do on here. And we'll try to get more content out and more videos. But, you know, we got a bunch of stuff in here, you know, has to do with NASCAR. You know, we got 36 car of Kenny Schrager. Um, this car here was um, driven by Ken Schrader when he hit Dale Earnhardt at the 2001 Daytona 500. Now, I can't believe that this February, it's going to be heartfelt. Because it'll be 23 years to the day. Since we lost Dale Earnhardt, they're racing on February the, uh, February the seventeenth. That's the day that Earnhardt was killed. Now, I know that's going to be an emotional day for a lot of Earnhardt fans. It will me. Trust me when I say that. <laughs> um. You know, it's going to be a pretty emotional day for any, any Earnhardt fan. Um, you know, it's kind of like September the 11th. You knew where you were when you were watching the Daytona 500. Um, you knew what you were doing when you were watching the Daytona 500. I mean... If you knew what you were doing on that day, you knew where you were when you watched the Daytona 500. Because um, on February the 18th, or February, yes, on February 18th, 2001, if I said the 17th, I meant the 18th. February the 18th, 2001. Dale Earnhardt was fatally killed at a track he loved. And if y'all seen the wreck, I mean, I know there's pictures of it on, there's videos of it on YouTube, but the wreck didn't look that bad. That's what I can't, that's what I can't get at. You know, the angle of it just did not look that bad. I mean... 20 something years later, a decade, two decades later. And I can't believe it's already been two decades. But two decades later, it just didn't look that bad. I mean, I mean, understand that since 2001, there has not been a fatality in NASCAR. So, for over 23 years, NASCAR has not ha had, had a, 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 a fatality. Um, but, I'm telling you, it just... There's a lot been going on with the sport. You know, Kevin Harvick retiring and all that. And everybody says that, that, that you know, NASCAR is changing. Well, it is. It has to adapt with the times. But in my eyes, for 75 years... It's been 
it's been a sport that I've loved since February the 14th or February the 12th, 1988. I mean, that's the day I started. That's the first race that I watched. February 12th, 1988. <laughs> and it was the Daytona, it was the Daytona duels a week before the 500. But, well, two days, a day, I don't know, anyway. 88 season was a lot different than it is now. But, in this season, we're going to have no drivers that raced in the Winston Cup era. No driver this year coming up for 2024 will have raced in the in the NASCAR Winston Cup Series. Now, we'll have all, I'm not saying all, a lot of them are, all of them are young, but they're not, you know, young, young. Like even young money, Kyle Larson. He he might be you know young, but he ain't as young as he used to be. You know he's late thirties, and um, but on this um, episode of. Dirt track boys. Yeah, we're gonna call it, we're gonna call them episodes. I think that's gonna be good. We're gonna talk about you know different stuff on here. Um, like for De you know for Dale Earnhardt, it took him over twenty years to win the five hundred. Why it took him so long? We'll never know. I mean, I have an idea why it took him that long, but, you know, Dale Earnhardt was a good driver. And, um, he was, he was a badass and badass drivers just didn't take no crap. And Dale was one of those guys that didn't take any shit. I mean, he let you know on, 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 on the track. But if you met Dale Earnhardt, you probably thought he was the greatest thing ever. Um, I almost got to meet him. I wished I did. But I come literally, y'all. I come this close to meeting him, but unfortunately, he he had a when I when I was fixing to meet him at 1994 at um we have a thing we used to have a thing down here in Knoxville where I live. We used to have a thing down here called Food City Race Night. It was sponsored by Food City. And some of the drivers would come down here, you know, sign autographs, and make appearances. Well, that year, I got Kyle Petty's autograph. <laughs> and uh, back when he drove the 42 car for Team Sabco. Um, but anyway, um, Dale Earnhardt was, um, at that and, uh, unfortunately, um, he had a, something that he had something to do up in North Carolina at his, uh, at his Chevrolet dealership. 
so he couldn't he couldn't he he had to fly back to Charlotte um but I I almost got his autograph and I wished I did because anybody that has Dale's autograph is one of a kind like my goal is to get Jeff Gordon's autograph and Kyle Larson and you know maybe even Kevin, maybe even uh, Harvick's I gotta get some Harvick I gotta get some Har Harvick diecast but maybe even get Kevin's autograph I don't know but uh that's a lifetime goal of mine is to get Kevin's autograph as well. I mean, not saying that Kevin's not a good driver because, because, because he is. But who, who's looking for, uh, who's looking for Kevin Harvick to be in the booth with Clint Boyer and Mike Joy next year? That's going to be a great combination. I'll tell you what, as Clint Boyer know, knows knows his stuff and so does Kevin I mean I'll bet you though here here in the next few years that the kids of the drivers that are racing now are going to be in the cup series one day you know such as Keelan Harvick Kevin Harvick's son Brexton Kyle Bush's son and Owen Kyle Larson's kids it wouldn't surprise me that the kids of NASCAR would probably be in the cup series race against their parents who knows I mean Kyle Bush sold his, his uh, assets to um, Spire, Spire Motorsports in uh, the end of, well, before the end of 2023. I mean, I think, I don't, I think Kyle's going to run a few races with Spire. I think they're going to, they're, the goal is to get them, have them a truck team. But uh, I'm not really sure on that. Now, what do y'all think about Haley Deegan running in the in the Xfinity series? Shoot, I think it's a good I think it's a good move because I think Haley's very talented. Haley's got a lot, you know, going. I mean, she has a win. She has a K and N Pro win. But she needs to get a cut. I mean, Xfinity, she's in a step of the right direction. I mean, a woman wants to learn, and I admire her for that. I really do. I mean, Haley's a good, a, a good uh, uh, driver. She's talented. She's nothing like If anybody on here says she's just like Danica... She's nothing like Danica. I mean, Danica crashed people because that's all she knew how to do was crash. Her nickname was Crashy. And uh, we don't like that here in NASCAR. And I, I mean... For Haley to be in, have a YouTube channel, you know, and to be, um, what do you call it? Um, I think it's going to be, it's going to be good because her drive is, is uncanny. It is great. And her drive to success, I think, is wonderful. You know, it has me to believe that the young lady is multi-talented, which could, because she is. 
Um, you know, Haley has a clue what she's talking about. And I think she's in, she's done really, really, really well. But, you know, you know, I think she's going to do great in the Xfinity series. But, uh, what do you think about, what do y'all think about the Hendrick guys this year? I mean, they, they just keep, they just keep putting up records like it's, I mean, William Byron got them 300 wins, and I think that's amazing. I mean, that's a strong organization, and I can't believe that for, well, it's this coming year will be the 41st season of Hendrick Motorsports. The 41st season. For Hendrick Motorsports. And I remember and I remember. I don't remember because I was only a year old. But as I was born in 83. But I do know this. It took them. It didn't take them long to win a race. And I remember that inspired them for Days of Thunder was the five and the three car, Dale Earnhardt and Jeff Bodine, would go at it every weekend. I mean, you know, and I, I remember how that in, how that was inspired by Days of Thunder. If y'all ever seen that movie, it's a pretty good movie. It's got Tom Cruise in it, one of my favorite actors. Um, if y'all ever seen Days of Thunder, you probably should rewatch it. It's a pretty good movie. Um, but anyway, that's not that. But how that movie got into it was. Um, Tom Cruise came to Rick Hendrick and said, hey, I want to make a, you know, Jerry Bruckheimer called up Rick and said, hey, I want to make a NASCAR movie. Are, are, are you in? And of course, you know, Jerry, Jerry Bruckheimer and um, Tony, uh, what's his name? Oh, shoot, I can't remember his name. Anyway, Tony Scott. Yeah, I had to think about it for a minute. Um, came up to Rick and said, hey, I'm going to make an ass car movie. But I want you to teach the ropes of it. it uh, Hendrick's like, cool, man. That's awesome. So they built a car, you know, a 46 car and used for the movie. I bet y'all didn't know this, that Bobby Hamilton and Greg Sachs Drove around this race car for about three weeks and uh, had a camera mounted in, into the headlight about like this. Had, had a camera mounted in into it so that car could get footage of the track that they went to. Which I thought that was pretty freaking awesome. I just, I'd love to do that. That was, that was awesome. And... <laughs> That car would run a few laps and then it would come back in. They'd switch, they'd switch the camera out and they'd go back out. It run, run, wouldn't run for laps, but they, you know, they did run the camera car. But anyway, the movie that inspired that uh, incident in 1984 with Rick Hendrick and Dale Earnhardt was Days of Thunder. Um, basically. Dale was getting pissed off at Jeff Bodine for wrecking him. 
Bodine was getting pissed off at Dale Earnhardt for hitting him. Well, anyway, that what kind of inspired that was uh, Jeff Bodine said, said to you know, the president of NASCAR, Big Bill France, said, all right. And told, he said to, he said to Rick, I'm going to, we're going to fold it. If we can't get any, any wins, we're glad, we're going to have to fold this. This is going to have, this is going, we can't, we can't do this no more. Well, that didn't happen. So basically, Dale Earnhardt and Jeff Bodine went to dinner getter with the president of NASCAR big bill france and they said look you two monkeys gonna race around my racetrack i'm gonna take your car apart no that's not how it went if you two can't race a decent race i'm gonna take your car i'm gonna take both your car apart for 300 laps if you get back in a race if i let you back in the two of you are gonna act civil together no more intentional hitting as I'm over it. I will suspend you and I will not give, give, give you points. Um, now, I know that, that you know, incidents happen all the time in, in Winston Cup or in NASCAR racing. I, I understand that. I get that. You know, intentional moves happen all the time. Just recently last year, or this past season, in 2023, with uh, Chase Elliott and uh, Denny Hamlin. Denny Hamlin's the, the whiny of NASCAR. I don't, you know, oh, he wrecked me, and I'm just going to sit here and go, well, uh -huh, about it. Well, yeah, Chase turned into him, but then he came down on him. You know, I'm not def I'm not defending Joe Gibbs, and I'm defending Hendrick because Hen Hendrick is is my drivers. But I'm not saying that you know what Chase did was right to turn into Denny Hamlin. But Denny did come down on Chase, and look at the footage if you want. But I'm not supposed I'm not saying I'm the bad guy here. But Denny came down on Chase Elliott. I mean, Chase didn't have to, you know, turn him into the wall. But it shows that that Denny came down on onto him, and you know, got into him, which is fine. You know, that's racing. That happens in any 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 form of of NASCAR, any form of racing. Where it, whether it be late models, super streets, super stock, anything. Um, but anyway, let me know your guys' thought on what you got. You know, there's only, like I said, 68 days until the Daytona 500. Well, it's like the season just ended, but you know what? That's how NASCAR is. They basically have a month, have, have a, you know, a month and a half off season. And... You know, the thing I like about coming with the new year it, is it, ex, it, it excites me because there's always changes. Like, NASCAR has two new cars coming out. The 2024 Mustang Dark Horse, which if you haven't seen this car, it looks really awesome. Y'all should l look it up, Dark Horse Mustang. And then the new Toyota Camry. It looks this thing looks awesome. I mean, they're looking more and more like stock cars. I think this new Mustang and new Camry look amazing. But this Mustang looks bad, and I think I think the Ford Camp this year is going to have a strong run. Because they were testing that Mustang Dark Horse at Phoenix. And uh, I'll tell you, this new Mustang man looks phenomenal. <laughs> but 
here at dirt track boys i'm gonna i'm gonna get another channel f for rants i'm not gonna have you know this channel be the rant channel anymore because that's not what i intended this channel for um it's basically gonna be just about racing and I, I tell you, I keep saying we're going to go up to Bristol, which I want to get footage of a track. I mean, that's what we're eventually going to do one day. I'm, 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 I, and I mean that. Um, so, let me know your all's take on this and... Uh, See how far we can get this channel to go. And, uh, like I said, you know, I mean, it's, this is going to be one of those videos where we talk about, we talk about motorsports, we talk about NASCAR, and just anything in general about motorsports. And I'm going to try to do this weekly. So I can keep y'all, you can, y'all can stay up to date about uh, about the motorsports, about NASCAR. Anything has to do with racing. If it's got basically if it's got four wheels on it, we'll talk about it. If it's got four wheels and it drives on a track, we'll talk about it. It dri it don't have to be it don't have to be concrete. It don't have to be asphalt. It can be dirt and it can be gravel. But what do y'all think about North Wilkesboro coming back for a sec a, a, a second year? Y'all think Wilkesboro is is a good and what do you think about the new pave at Wilkesboro? I mean that track's not been paved since eighty four. So almost forty something years of asphalt. I mean that track's not been paved. I, since 84 and uh, so then like I said earlier about Iowa Speedway what do y'all think about Iowa coming now who, agree, who agrees with me that Richmond coming back that Richmond for for uh Easter, because you know Bristol lost the Easter date because they want Richmond, and I think it's going to be a night race. If I'm not mistaken, I think could be wrong, but I don't know. Um, and uh, Kevin Harvick up in the booth this year with Mike Joy and Clint Boyer. So who can tell me in the comments below what was your favorite NASCAR experience and um, has anybody ever been in the NASCAR Hall of Fame? Is it worth the money to go? But uh, in 10 months, I'll be going to Phoenix, Arizona. I've never been to Phoenix. I've been to Bristol. I've been to Atlanta. I've been to Daytona. I've been to Martinsville. I've been to Darlington, South Carolina. I've been to Talladega. I've been to uh, Charlotte. I've been to Atlanta a few times. I've been to uh, Nashville. I've probably been to about eleven. I've probably been to about eleven or eleven or twelve tracks in my life. Um, been to Bristol a plethora of times. Lord, I can't tell you how many times I've been to Bristol Speedway. Um, but anyway, give this channel some love, y'all. 
like and subscribe to this channel and like i said at dirt track boys we'll try to make a we'll try to do do a uh, weekly thing on this and we'll you know try to keep the positive up about racing up because that's what i'm trying to get this channel up to be is about you know about nascar racing and uh you know see how it goes with uh with NASCAR and uh, just try to be, you know, pleasurable and honest on this. And uh, I just hope y'all enjoy this weekly racing content. I'm really going to try working on this channel more. So if you guys support me, awesome. Um, because Dirt Track Boys, you know, I love you guys. And I want to support, I need to support for this. I mean, I, it, it's something that, it's, it's my passion. You know, it's something I'm, it's something I've been passionate about for, I'm going to be honest, for in, since I was five years old in 1988. And I, I want to, you know, encourage my experiences to, to a younger fan who may be listening to this because I think racing is the greatest thing in the world. And, you know, it, it, it amazes me how fun NASCAR is to me. And, you know, it just, I, I, and I just love it. You know, I, I love being able to spend time with my dad. It's, this is kind of our bonding experience. Honest, honestly, me and my dad going to NASCAR races is uh, going to, uh, you know, supporting these are amazing. So if you guys like old NASCAR videos and old, you know, old stories about NASCAR, I'll try to talk about it. I mean, I'll try to remember as much stuff as I can remember. I mean, shoot, I'm 40 years old, so if there's something I forget, you know, my, the old, the old brain is, uh, still remembering things, you know what I mean? But, uh, there's a lot of things that, you know, that I may remember, I may not remember, but keep liking these videos and we'll and we'll try to keep supporting it my goal is to get you know i don't know how many subscribers i'm, I'm wanting to get on this but my goal is to get more than 22 so y'all can like and subscribe to this channel i'd really appreciate it so with that i hope y'all have a great rest of your day and wherever y'all are in the world hope you have a merry christmas and I hope y'all have a fun and safe off season. And looking forward to uh, to Daytona coming up in 68 days. I can't believe it's only been it's only that long left. Um, but uh, you know, like here here, like I said before, here recently we had uh, Ken Squire. Um, pass away from a battle with, I don't forget what he had, but um, keep Ken Squire in your prayers, you know, this holiday season, and uh, just make sure to like and subscribe to this, and uh, we'll definitely try to get more NASCAR posts up here. I mean, it's basically my passion to do this. So, you know, I appreciate it. You guys are, you, so far, my supporters have been awesome. And for that, I love you guys. And I just want you to know that how loved that you guys are. And I, I'm hoping that my passion for something I've been passionate about for for a long time And I'd also like to give a shout out to Bro Mikey for uh, 
the pots and pans and the crock pot that his wife and, and him gave, gave me. Thank you so much. That's been, uh, that's been wonderful. The more the better, bro. But anyway, like I said, y'all, I love you guys and I hope that, uh, I hope that, um, uh, you guys have a great rest of your day. And like I said, we'll try to get more out here. I'll try to start working on this channel a lot more. And, uh, Y'all have any questions or comments, just leave them in the comment section. Happy comments and happy comments about racing. The Dirt Track Boys and I love you guys. Hope y'all have a great Christmas.